I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, CV. It's Emma and Devin here with the announcements for Thursday, September 3rd, 2015. Today and tomorrow, there will be sign-ups outside Ms. Kramer's room, South B, 208, for any student wanting to be on the ballot for class president or governing officer for this school year. Please put your name, grade, and if you would like to run for president or governing officer on the paper outside of her room. Every class will vote the following week via email. If you have any questions, please come and see either Ms. McCracken or Mrs. Kramer. Today at 7.30 in the high school cafeteria, CV will have their FCA huddle after football. It's not mandatory to attend, but you will feel enlightened to bring together faith and sports. That's your announcements for today. Now here's sports. Hey CV, it's Luke and Lex back with your sports. On Tuesday, the girls soccer team came up short losing the Upper St. Clair 3-2. Junior Carolina Lucci scored both goals for the Warriors. Central Valley Boys Golf Team takes on Beaver today at the Seven Oaks Country Club in a non-section matchup. CVTV's own Luke DiBello hopes to lead the team to a victory. As you know, the football team takes on the Montour Spartans on Friday in a huge regular season home opener. Tickets for this game will go on sale Friday sometime during the day. Student tickets will be $2 and adult tickets are $5. There will be no student tickets sold at the gate. All tickets at the gate will be $5. The theme for the game will be a Carolina Blue Out. All students will meet at the tennis parking lots no later than 6 o'clock. We will then walk down together in two single file lines and make a tunnel for the team as they walk out. Be there, be loud, and most importantly, just get real crazy. That's all we have for today. Stay classy, Central Valley. Hi, I'm uh, Garrett Tellis here with Devin Hennessy for the Varsity Boys Soccer Team. What are your uh, expectations for this year? I think we're going to be pretty good. Uh, we've got some new kids coming up, fresh legs on the field. It's going to be pretty good. Yeah, that's good. Uh, you guys gain any strength or speed over the off season? <laughs> on the off, yeah, a little bit. On the off season, we're lifting, running a lot, trying to get better as a team. Is it going to be hard to overcome the loss of all your seniors from last year? Do you guys think you're still going to be a pretty solid team? Uh, we only lost three uh, seniors, so I think we can fill their spots in. It's going to be hard, but we can do it. Hey, all right, thank you very much, Devin. Thank you. Good luck on your season. I'm Lauren Hamilton here with Alex Bozich, a junior on the girls' golf team. What are your expectations this season to win another state championship? <laughs> do you think it's going to be hard with the loss of the senior last year? We only lost one senior and have the good freshman that came up this year, so I think we'll be good. There it is. I hope you have a great season. I'm here with uh, Chris Callaghan, the quarterback for the varsity football team. What are your uh, expectations this year after losing all those crucial seniors? Oh, it's tough losing a lot of seniors like that. But, uh, obviously, our expectations are to go win another championship, obviously. I mean, I think uh, our team has a lot of potential. Here. That's good. I heard you guys uh, had a scrimmage the other day against Bell Vernon. How did you guys look? We look very well. Uh, our offense moved the ball very well. Uh, our defense did great. We just have to get some of the younger guys on varsity speed. Well, there you go. Thanks, Bert. Good Thank luck you. on your season. Hi, I'm Garrett Tosh. I'm here with Luke DeBello, a starter for the varsity golf team. What are your expectations for this year? Well, after making the playoffs last year, it is um, our expectations are nothing less to go back to the playoffs and make our second playoff appearance in a row, so it'll be difficult, but we know we can do it. How did uh, it, how is it like losing all your seniors? Well, losing two seniors like Alex Southford and Damian Fubio, it, it'll hurt, but um, over the off season, we all had to get better because they were a big factor to our team. So we just had to work hard, go to the range, hit plenty of balls, and I think it'll pay off towards the end of the year. Well, thank you very much, Luke, and good luck on your season. Thank you. Hello, CV. This is Lauren Hamilton here with Robin Hanby, part of the girls' CV soccer team, which I'm also on. Robin, how do you think this season's going to go? Um, I think it's going to go well. I'm pretty excited for it. We're, uh, yep. <laughs> Hi, this is Alex Bozic here with Isabella Rossi and Kelly Dudo on girls' tennis. How do you think your season is going to go this year? I think it's going to go pretty well. Yeah. Did you lose any players from this year to last year? We did. Elena Thomas was our first. Well, there you have it. <laughs> Go. 
Hi, I'm Lauren Hamilton here with Dante Reddish and Jordan Mann, and they're from the cross country team. How do you guys think you're going to be running this year? Not too bad, honestly. We're having our uh, tough share of times, so we're improving. Does King make you guys run a lot of training? Yes, he does, and he doesn't like us that much this year. I don't think we're as good as we were last year. <laughs> Did you lose any key players? Huh. Almost the entire, entire varsity team. <laughs> but you guys still have Maya, right? Yeah. Well, there you have it. I hope you guys have a good season. Hi, I'm Alex Bezzi, Trevor Allison Ball, from the first How do you think you're going to get out I think it's going to be really well. Did you lose any key players this year? Um, we lost Taylor McClose and also my sister. Do you think you're going to make a run for playoffs? Yes, I do. Hi, <laughs> Central Valley. I'm Chris Callaghan here with Lauren Hamilton, the Lady Warriors goaltender. So, Lauren, what's the team expectations this year? Pretty high this year. We have a lot of uh, players returning that played last year and started last year, so I think we'll make it pretty far. What's it like replacing the seniors you guys lost? They all played pretty big roles last year for us, but our sophomore class is looking pretty good, so I think we'll have people to fill the roles. There you have it. I wish you the best of luck and have a great season. Thank you. Hi, this is Lauren Hamilton with the Athletics Director, Mr. Sirken. How do you think the fall sports are going to be this year? Well, you know what, we uh, set the standard pretty high in all of our sports, so I'm expecting a great season from all of our sports teams, and uh, we're very excited and eager to get started. Do you plan on attending a lot of games? Yes, I do. Usually every home game I'll be here, and then uh, I'll venture out to the away games and get out there and see as many as possible. All right, well, thank you very much. You're welcome.